Hello and welcome to the city of Snellville. My name is Butch Sanders. I'm your city manager and I want to welcome you to our team. We're glad you're here. We're going to do everything in our power to make your employment a positive experience for us and for you. We want you to be long term. We want you to contribute as much as you can to the city and we're going to help you do that. One of the most important areas that we can help you in your job and help you in your personal life, and that's important to us, are our benefits, salary, compensation, and benefits. Uh, you're going to hear a video, see a video, in, uh, after I, I give you my welcome to that, that will explain group health benefits to you, what we try to provide for employees. We try to provide the best benefits we can, the most competitive salary and compensation, and Parnick Jennings is our broker advisor when it comes to group health benefits. He will explain the program to you in depth. And you can always ask questions. Don't Please realize that Gabriella Downs in our HR office is here to answer your questions. You'll have a chance to, to meet with Parnick and talk to Parnick about enrollment. You'll enroll through NFP, that is his company. And we want you to, to really feel like we're, we're supporting you with those types of options that, that we're providing you. Uh, we really are glad you're here. Please don't hesitate, as I said, to ask questions in the future. And welcome. Take care. We'll be seeing you around the city. What we're going to talk about today are the benefits themselves. Okay? So... I'm going to talk through some generalities first so that you'll have a clear understanding of what I'm talking about. Number one, all the plans uh, cover things called preventative. Preventative tests are things that you can get based on your sex and your age that could save your life. I'm a perfect example. I went and had a regular test. Doctor said, you're doing great. Uh, I'll see you in a year. Phone rang uh, next morning, and it was my doctor around 7 o'clock. He said, Parnick, I need to see you. And I said, what's going on? And he said, I just need to see you. Well, I, need, well, good. I said, tell me what's going on. And he wouldn't tell me. So I went in, and I had cancer. So that test, though, saved my life. My doctor didn't even tell me. If you had not, in fact, he pointed to my wife, said, that girl, pointed to my wife, said, that girl didn't call me a boy. That girl saved your life. You need to thank her for it. So I'm trying to save your life. I'm not fussing at you. I just want you to be there when your kids and grandkids grow up, see your daughter walk down the aisle, see your grandkids graduate from college and things like that. So I want to make sure that uh, that you do that. That's called preventative, and your doctor can tell you where she's eligible. Where children are eligible up to age 16. So these are free, but they're not really free. I've estimated that 7% of your cost goes for preventative and these other things that the health care reform added. For example, uh, used to be a limit of a million dollars. Now it's unlimited. Uh, there's a shot out there for uh, newborns, $4.1 million to save the person's life. Uh, so uh, you might say, well, is that worth it? Well, if it's my grandson or granddaughter, your dad going right, it's worth it. So we want to make sure it's doing that. So uh, with that in mind, let's start on page six in the guide, and uh, Gabby will give you the guide, but I want to go through this with you. Uh, this is known as a health savings account. Many of you choose that health savings account which allows you to put money aside to help pay for any uh, medical expenses you have, dental, vision, anything like that. And when you get older, it can even be used to pay Medicare premiums. So a lot of people uh, at the city of Snellville have the HSA account, uh, which what that means is if you look, I mentioned unlimited at the top and then there's a deductible of $4,000. So up until that, you're, uh, you're gonna be responsible for paying that. And then there's an 80% after that and your maximum out of pocket is $7,000 per individual, $14,000 per family. And I know you're thinking, oh my God, Parnick, that's gonna break me. Well, think about this. In the past year, I've had a $1.3 million claim and a $1.97 million claim. I myself have had a knee uh, replacement and I've had a, uh, a heart surgery. And so, you know, they probably run four or $500,000. So would I pay $7,000 on a million dollar bill? You're daggum right. So you're protected. They can't come and take your house. So just make sure that you, uh, that you do this. Nothing that I always, regardless of the plan, is it doesn't hurt to check and see what the prices are. When I had my knee surgery, I said, we need an MRI. I said, okay. They said, go to the hospital. I said, I'm not going to the hospital. He said, yeah, you are. I said, I'm not going to the hospital. He said, why? 
I said, you sit right there. Now this is a guy with a stethoscope around his neck and a white jacket, been my doctor for 15 years. I had uh, uh, shoulder surgery. I said, well, let's, let's, let's just play a game. We called the hospital and where I was over $3,000 called the, out, uh, the uh, freestanding facility of $900. <laughs> he didn't have a clue. He said, I didn't know there's that much difference. I said, well, now you know why I don't want to go to the hospital because I've got a $3,500 deductible. So shop around. You don't just go up to the car dealer and give to the person that buying the car or truck from and give me credit card and say, you know, put on there what you think is fair. Don't do that. We'll help you make sure that we uh, do that. If you look down at the bottom of the page, so anything that has to do with a prescription, anything medical, uh, up to $4,000, you're gonna be responsible for it. But the premium only is $10 per pay period. $10 per pay period. And then the city's gonna give you money. I'll get to that in a minute. Now the other um, HSA is a $3,000. So you'll be responsible for $3,000. I'm on page seven. But if you look down at the bottom, you're going to be required to pay $25 a pay period. So my advice would be, if you don't go to the doctor much or hardly any, you don't anticipate going to the hospital, no matter what, take the, the first one. The first one, is it, you ever had an insurance company call you up and say, hey, you didn't spend as much money as we thought you would, here's a check for $10,000? No, keep the money in your pocket. Now, the other plan we're gonna discuss on the medical is on page, Eight, it's the standard PPO plan. So if you want to go to the doctor, you just pay a copay. And I'm going to go down and show you that um, office visits, I'm in the middle of the page, are $40 uh, for a uh, primary care physician, $50 for specialists. So why would you want this plan? Well, if you go a lot. My wife and I usually are on a HSA plan, but last year I knew that I was going to have to have knee surgery. So we flipped off onto the PPO plan. I'm glad we did because it saved us about four or $5,000. So you could be on one plan one year, change it at open enrollment and do the other plan. So uh, prescriptions are just $10. You can see that at the bottom of the page, but you're gonna pay more, it's $50 a pay period. Now, on page nine is where it gets good because each uh, pay period, if you take an HSA plan, you will get $20. And should you have uh, children or your spouse covered, there's $40, I'm on page nine. And so if you want to contribute, your max for an individual is $38.50 and your family coverage is $7,750. Now remember your medical now is through Anthem. Okay, now turn to the page again. Again, I know you know all this, but we're gonna try and make it so that there's not any questions. There's something called an employee assistance program on page 10 and page 11. We've had some tough times, pandemic. Uh, now we may be in a recession and all these things. So there come a time you may have to talk to somebody. So you can pick the phone and talk to somebody. You can go see people. It's pretty well, pretty well self-explanatory on page 10 and page 11. The dental insurance is through Delta Dental. And there's two different ways that you can do this. So you can go in network. Delta Dental has a big network. I'm on page 12 now. And there is a negotiated fee that Delta Dental has already made with that, uh, with that dental provider. So if you go, uh, you know that if you go get your teeth cleaned, there's not gonna be any cost. It's 100% uh, preventative. And the other services you can see that are covered at uh, other amounts. The maximum benefit now is $1,500 on that. Uh, if memory serves me right, it was 5,000 with the MetLife, but uh, anyway, we can, the Delta Dental offers it at $1,500. Now, if you go out of network, if your dentist has got any gray hair like me, they probably may not be in any network. They don't have to. They got a line out the door to come see them. So just because they're not in network does not mean they're bad people. It just means that they don't have to give away part of their practice. So you'll see on page 12, on the right-hand side, you're something called reasonable and customary. So what that says is that uh, they're gonna pay a percentage of the reasonable and customary costs. So if you like your dentist and he wants to charge you more than what they're gonna pay you, you can pay the difference or you can do like I say. Uh, I'm not gonna pay you the difference. You just need to write it off. That's what I tell you. If you don't want to write it off, I'll go to some place that does. Now you can see the city pays all that cost for you and your dependents are covered days 26 and uh, the other uh, tiers are at $5. Vision uh, is with NVA again. And so if you go get an exam, it's just 10 bucks and uh, your lenses are covered up to $130 uh, on your uh, contact lenses. Now here's, let me, here's a trick. They'll try to get you to buy half a box. No, 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 buy the whole box. 
maybe it's $150, you'll pay $30 difference. If you only buy half a box, next time you go get another half box, it's, uh, the insurance is gonna cover it, you're gonna pay full price. So just a little thing there. Oh, the lenses is $20, so $10 for an exam, $20 for lenses. I had to pay $25, so when I went and had my uh, uh, vision the other day, I paid $10 for exam, I had to pay $25 for my lenses. Uh, your frames are covered up to $130, uh, $130, and you can have these once every 12 months. So it has to be 12 months before the time you do it until you do it again. The dental is on a calendar year, so that's different, okay? And you see the cost there is very inexpensive. Now, I would suggest that you thank Melissa and Matt and Gabby and Butch because they do something for you on these benefits that they don't have to do. They do it because it saves you money. It's called a section 125. What does that mean? Whatever you pay out of your pocket for these expenses comes off your paycheck. So say for example, that you make $1,000 in a week and you pay $50 uh, for your, uh, all your medical and dental and vision, you're only taxed on $950. Let the government help pay for it. Just like you've heard me say, let the government help pay for your retirement. You take it right off your income. Some people don't, that's all right. You don't want to do it, but uh, it's a lot of work, especially on Gabby. So I would tell Gabby, thank you for doing that. And also thank the, the city because it's always what's the best we can do for the employees, partnering with the money we got. And they always go over budget, always do something extra for you. So uh, it's always a pleasure to do this. Now on page 14, we're talking about the uh, life insurance that the city provides. You can read that for yourself. Uh, one thing that I think is important that there's a travel assistance pro program that if you're more than a hundred miles away from your city, uh, that there's assistance that, uh, that they can do that. So you can see uh, all that on page 14. On page 15 allows you, the city, you see what they give you uh, and you can buy extra. And so the beautiful part about that is there are ways that you can buy up to $150,000 with no questions asked. Now, if the city hired me, let's say the city hired me to be Brian Arrington's assistant, that's a job I could do. Probably another rest of them I could do, but I could help, I could help Brian walk around and do what he does. But if I came to work here, now remember I've had cancer and I've had a stent. Now, do you not think I would buy $150,000, no questions asked? Absolutely, absolutely. Especially when you see the cost, you can cover your spouses. You see that, I'm on page 15 and you can cover your children. You can't do this. You can't buy 5,000 on you and then buy a million on your spouse. They frowned on that. So you just can't get away with it. Uh, but you can see all those uh, that you can see there as far as that's concerned. Now. Uh, a couple things that it has that I think are important is uh, has waiver premium. So while you're out sick, you don't need to be worried about paying for your life insurance. So we pay for that. You can take it with you. Uh, should you become ill and can't go to a work and the doctor says you're not going to make it, you can actually get your insurance ahead of time. So you don't have to die to, to find the benefit in it. Okay. You can see the cost on page 16. So uh, what is that? $10,000 would be a dollar and 25 cents if you're under age 24. And you can see that, uh, that, that there. So uh, there is something called short-term disability. Uh, so it covers 60% of your income up to $1,500. You, you have to wait 14 days. Most times you have to wait a month. I can't, by the end I'm broke. 14 days coverage for 11 weeks. You see that? And then the city provides for you long-term disability, which covers you to you start drawing social security. Look at that. See that maximum benefit duration? See that? Later 65 or SSNRA? What does that mean? Well, that's a good question. Social security, normal retirement age. Now, I started drawing social security at 66 years and two months. Uh, those of you who are younger than me, and I'm 72, are going to have to wait a lot longer. And if you're if you're real young, you probably have to wait till 75 or 80 years old. So what does that mean? If you became disabled, the insurance company will put a check in your mailbox until you start drawing Social Security. That's a good benefit. We make them do that. The insurance companies don't like us for doing that. They want to stop it at 65, which was fine back 20 years ago. But why they do it now, we want to make sure. Now, there's something called pre-existing conditions, three slash 12. I want you to always understand that anytime you see a pre-existing condition, there's a, there's a caveat, so listen to me. I've had cancer, but I am not taking any cancer treatments. So if they look back three months on me, I'm not taking any cancer treatments. 
if I got cancer after I came to work here, it covered me 100%. Now, I've never had a heart attack, but I have had a stent. At the time of this recording, I'm actually, the next Wednesday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a heart cath. But I've never had a heart attack. But if I came to work here during the first year, if I had a heart attack and became disabled, I would not draw a benefit because I'm currently being treated for that. Okay, so just know that for you when you come here. Okay, now if we're getting toward the end. 19 is something called Brella. Now, I have nothing against Aflac and all these other companies. They're good companies. However, they just pay on limited things. Brella pays on 13,000 conditions. We have Brella at NFP. Now, think about this. Look at the one on the, on the left. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk through what all they cover. So something called a value costs is $200, severe and catastrophic. I'm on, the, I'm on the value side. So the moderate, severe, and catastrophic. What does that mean? There are certain conditions that are called moderate that every two weeks, if you have a condition come about, you could draw a check for $200. So really you could borrow, I don't know, 20, che 20 checks, $4,000. Uh, there are no waiting periods. I have people that have bought this whose spouse had cancer. They were covered immediately. You can see the rates. The rates are very inexpensive for employee only, 18 to 49, $7.14. Now, uh, enhanced, so it pays more. You can see the moderate is 300, severe is 1,000, catastrophic 2,000. Then premier is 500, 1,500, and 3,000. So the catastrophic are the cancers and things like that that Aflac and all these others pay. But they don't pay on all these other things that we're talking about. So if you have pneumonia, it's, it's gonna cover it. Uh, if you have, uh, I don't know, kidney stones, it's gonna cover it. So all these things that you get on a regular basis, 13,000 of them, Brella's gonna cover it. It's the best benefit I've ever heard of. In fact, I told them, I said, I don't know, I talked to them, I guess Monday of this week, no, Tuesday of this week, what's today? Anyway, um, and I said, I, I don't see how you're not gonna go broke. I mean, I've got people that already have thousands of dollars in claims that they filed. They said they got it figured out. So I said, that's okay. You see the number down there at the bottom. That's page 19. So uh, here's an example of someone who had a, a meniscus tear or ACL tear. You can see that. And what all it paid, I will not go through that. I want you to be able to see it. Uh, so that covers your benefits. Now, there are certain things beginning on page 21 that are designed for the city of Snellville to provide for you and let you know about so they stay in compliance. For example, if you look on page 23, there's something called a CHIP program. Because there are times that people have a hard time financially. I've been there, I've been broke before. I'm not proud of it, but when I was in my 20s, I, I flat broke. And three years after that, I was flat broke about a year, and three years after that, I don't hardly have anything. And so I would have loved to have been able to apply for some, uh, for some help. We all need help sometimes, don't be offended. If, you, if you're having a tough time financially, there are ways that things can help you. So we want to talk through that. And so uh, that's on page 23. We're almost done. It goes to different uh, states uh, that, that provide the CHIP program. Uh, I want to uh, note on page 27, if you would please, the section 125. So what you choose today is what you're going to have until we have open enrollment. What you choose today is what you, unless you have a, what is known as a qualifying event. What are qualifying events? We usually see they get married or unmarried. But the biggest one I want to talk to you about is having children. Because when you have a child, you only have 30 days to add them to your coverage. After that, you're out of luck. So that 30 days comes about real quick. So let's do this. Let's, let's kind of play a game uh, at the city. If you know an employee's pregnant, say, I hope everything works out okay. Don't forget to call Parnick and get your call at FP and, and get your baby on the insurance or if their spouse. This is very important. I had three people, three more people in year 2022 that did not include their spouse, I mean, their baby on their insurance. And, and I can't do anything about it. After 30 days, it's done. It's set in stone and you can't do it. So uh, another thing is, let's say your spouse is covered somewhere else and uh, that company goes out of business or they quit or whatever, then they're eligible to come on your plan. So what does that mean? Let's say you, right now you don't need to cover your spouse. Your spouse is covered, I'm gonna say Gwinnett County. And for some reason they quit working at Gwinnett County, stay home with the kids or whatever they wanna do, then you'll be able to see that they'll be able to, uh, to come with your insurance. Just let Gabby know and she can give you the paperwork so we can fill that out. Okay. Now, on 28 and 29, these are the things that we want you to know about. 
You'll lose ID cards. I guarantee you somebody on this call in 2022 lost an ID card. I bet, I bet a million dollars. Well, you're kind of cocky, aren't you? I said, no, not really. I lost it. I know I lost it. I lost my, I lost my dental card. And so I had to call in at their office and they took care of me. Another thing is that you need to know about is, uh, is check your EOBs, explanation of benefits. Okay, this is very important. Listen to me. Remember I told you I had uh, knee surgery. Well, my heart went nuts on me. I had AFib come in. I was in the hospital for nine days. So I've got a lot of bills I've checked. Five, five of my bills are wrong. Five. So you probably don't check it. And guess what? All five were against me and four of uh, the insurance company in the hospital. So if you get an EOB and you think it's wrong, you let us know. Our study just recently showed that 46% of all claims that were submitted to us during the year 2022 for us to check were wrong. And not 46% of all claims, so just sit down, sit down. But 46% of the claims that we were asked to check. So just because they got a jacket on or they got a stethoscope around their neck or just because they're a doctor or whatever, I'm sorry, they made mistakes and we want to make sure that uh, you're okay. Now, when you have a problem, we prefer you call us. Our number's first up there at the top. Now, if you want to call Anthem or these others and be on hold forever and talk to somebody, I can't, some, most times I can't understand what they're saying. I've got to, I've got to say, is there somebody else I can talk to? I'm sorry, I'm just a, just a redneck. Um, but call us. Here's the other thing. If you call, I'm just going to I'm just pick on Anthem. If you call that Anthem number, who are you going to talk to? Who are you going to talk to? Somebody that works for Anthem. Are they going to air on the side of Anthem? Are they going to be on air on the side of you? They're going to air on the side of Anthem. You call us, we work for you, and we take care of it. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is uh, your retirement account. You know, the city provides a retirement for you, but you can also add two, and so you have a little extra money when you get ready to retire. And here's the beautiful part about it. Let's listen to me. Let's say again, you made a thousand dollars. Say you wanted to put fifty dollars in the retirement account as long as it's not a Roth. So let's just, I'm just talking about a non-Roth account. So instead of being taxed on $1,000, you're only taxed on $950. Let the government help pay for your insurance, take advantage of it. Gabby does all the hard lifting for you on that. And let the government help pay for your retirement. They'll get you sooner or later. I promise you. Uh, I'm starting to have to have required minimum distribution. They tax the heck out of me. So get them while you can so that we can take care of it. Okay, I promised Brian I'd do it uh, in around 20 minutes, and I think we're at 21 minutes. So, again, I'm Parnick Jenny for the NFP. I thank you for allowing us to provide uh, your insurance. Should you have any questions uh, in the book that we have here that Gabby has given to you or will give to you, we'll have everything covered. All right, see you.